In this section, we'll be creating our first BODS job. Before creating that BODS job, let's understand how the flow works in BODS. So this is how it is structured. On top, we have project folder. This is nothing but a folder where you categorize your various jobs, just like how you save your files in different folders. You save your different jobs in different folders logical bifurcation basically job job is executable component which is needed at the top after project then you can create a workflow and data flow now workflow is not compulsory you can avoid it if you want but it is recommended to use workflow and you will understand once you start working why workflows are needed data flow is a component where you describe all your logic transformation connection everything so df is very important We'll be referring workflow as WF and data flow as TF when start creating our job. So here you describe all the nitty gritty of your job in data flow and we also have an option of script. So not all the things can be achieved with graphical tool and it, at times you need code to suffice your requirement. So let's go and create our first job. So this is the BODS design screen and in project area. I will create my first project so I will right click and say new and say prj underscore first job I will say create and the job is available in project area now as per the flow I have to create job first so I will say new batch job and I will name it as jb underscore first job now I have work area available of the job and I can drag tf or workflow you have to just click here and then click here so I can drag and drop both but best practice is I have to follow the flow which we saw job and then workflow and then data flow so for timing I will delete it from here and I will rename it as WF underscore first job I will double click on this and drag data flow and I will name it as DF underscore first job now inside this I will create my objects so this is the flow we are following job and then workflow and then data flow you will understand why workflow is needed once we start creating more objects and you will learn why it is needed so let's create our first data flow, flow objects so in last section we dragged a table called sales so let's drag this sales table and what we'll do is we'll copy this data from sales to another table in the same SQL DB. So I will drag this table here and it will ask me two options make source or target. So I want to make it as a source because this is from where we will extract our data. So I will say make source and you see the table is behind the arrow means the data will be captured from table and move further. And now I want to dump this data into another table. So what I can do for that is I can use this template option here. I can click here and click again here. Now I can create and name a new table sales copy, which will get created in the same data source DS learn demo with owner DBO. So I will click OK. Now here you see the arrow is first and then the table. So this is the target one. And here the table is filled with some color here table is empty. It means this is a table and this is a template. So I can connect both of them and run my job and the data will get transferred from this to this table. But best practice is to have a query in between. So I will delete this by pressing delete button and I will get a query transform from here and click here. And then I will connect source to query and then query to target. Now let's go inside the query and we see that schema in source table has all the columns schema out doesn't have any columns so what i can do is i can select all by pressing shift and clicking here and then right click and map to output so all the columns are now avail available on the schema out that is target table and i can see the mapping so i can see cus country is mapped with sales.cus country and similarly date sold is connected to sales.date sold so this is how the mapping is directly created between these columns. Here we have multiple options like select. So I can delete duplicate and just have distinct row. I can select this. I, if I have multiple tables, I can use join here. 
I can have where clause, I can have group by, order by, just like SQL. And we also have some advanced option which we'll see in future lectures. So where clause, for example, I can just drag year and put it here and say, I just want 2018 data. And it will filter out all the data from source and will just update 2018 data into target. For timing, I will remove it and come out. So this is the mapping we have done. Let's go and run the job. So I can right click on this job because remember job is executable component and we can execute it. So I will click here and it will ask whether I want to save everything. I will say yes. There are multiple options here. We'll go into them in details in future lectures. For timing, I will just say OK. And the job has started. So trace you can see. And now I, I see that job is completed successfully. This was trace and this monitor section. In monitor section, you can see 998 records have been transferred in 2.173 second into query sales copy table. That is sales copy table. So let's go into DF and see the data. So I've double clicked on DF and now I can preview the data and I see the data has come. So data has been updated in this table from the sales table. Now remember this is a template table. So when I use a template table, I can always modify the structure of the table. So if I just don't want year, so I can just remove this and click delete and year is removed. Now I will again run the job and say yes, okay. Job is completed. So we'll go to TF and click on this. And now year column has vanished. So this again, new table is created with limited columns which we want. If this would have been table, we would have probably had a null values here. The column would not have been deleted. Once you are sure about the structure, what you can do is you can import the table. So I can right click here and import the table. So now you see the difference. Now you have color filled here. So now there's a table. So if I remove a column unit sold, for example, and delete it and run the job again, Job is completed. We go to DF and set the data. So as old data is still there, the column is coming and data is coming. So what I can do is I can go here and I can select this delete data from table before loading. So it will dump all the data and load the data again. So let's see what happens. So I will again go here and execute. Job is completed. I will click here and now I will refresh this. So you see when you delete the data and load it again, the unit sold co column is still there with null value. It is not deleted like template table. So remember template table you can use while experimenting with the jobs and while doing that you can remove or add a column as per your wish. But once you import the table, you won't be able to change the structure. So that's how you create your first job. What we did was we took the data from sales table and uploaded it to sales copy table. And you can see that table here in the SQL DB as well. So if I just refresh this tables and I go there, data is there. So I can just click here and see and data is available with units sold as null. So congratulations on creating your first POD's job. Now let's summarize what we have learned in this section. We created our first POD's job. We understood the job is the executable component. Workflow is optional but recommended. Always use it. Data flow is must and you can't do without it. We also understood the difference between template table and normal table. We'll go further in next section. Thank you.